They're all true, actually. <laughs> Some of them actually happened, though. This one happened. This is a true story. It actually happened to a friend of ours named Zach. And you did the right thing. You make the sound of the breeze in the nighttime trees. And we talk to our sound man and say, you can add a little extra reverb on the choruses. <laughs> well, Zach took a walk in the middle of the night. Zach had to go, something was not right. Zach didn't tell anybody he'd be gone, but somebody or something was watching on. Zach got out of his bed sometime around two. Significant as that's his age, his height, his shoe size too. It still remains a mystery exactly what happened. This open ended inquiry made the final lap on the sand. From his crib to the floor, two flats of stairs, two gates once more, two flats of stood up with parents sleeping as two doors open, one leading and the other one leading on the decks. He must have heard a voice in the air, and the voice said, Nobody knows, no one was there. But it was strong, pulling down a pile of stone across two cattle guards before he hit the road on Zach's The road he chose ran lonely through the night, several miles in either direction. No house, no light. Why did he take his clothes off one by one? All we know for sure. He was going, going, gone on sense. First time it passed in, what's that animal thinking? Second was old Joe, old Joe was blinking. Third just saw the shadow swerve, blew their horn. Whatever it was, the song just kept the people weeping on, on. Found a face to dance upon through the windshield of the cruiser. Zack in the back, come back from Zack's walk. They kissed him, kissed him, were you lost? Not really. They hugged him, hugged him, how'd you get so far? No big deal. They asked him, were you scared? And he said, Said no. The sky was clear. The quarry closed. The three separate sources said the sound that filled the dawn was the earth and the sky. Talking to their son, it was the earth and the sky. Talking to their son, all sense. 